boy, somebody is having a bad day. Oh, man. When your front end gets busted in, your radiator fluid is leaking out. Oh, that's not a good day. And when you get rear-ended, oh, man, that's not a good day either. But, hey, there's always a great day when you get to catch another episode of The Trucker's Table. So don't go nowhere. Hang around. Robbie's got a gold watch. Don't seem like a whole lot. After 30 years of driving up and down the interstate. But Robbie's had a good life. And Robbie's got a good wife. Ah, man, we're in Wildwood, Florida, at the TA, on the back road. <laughs> yeah, get ready to pull out. Head on up to Rock Hill, South Carolina. And I'm going to take a shortcut instead of going all the way around the shop. I'm going to cut back through the fuel island and go out. Uh, so, the reason we stopped here yesterday was two reasons. One, we had to axle out because I knew, I knew it as good as I know my name, that uh, I was over 34,000 on my drives. Shore shooting, by the time we got up from Lakeland to here, I was 340 pounds over on my drives. So when they loaded me, I would guesstimate I was probably close to 500 pounds maybe over on my drives. Well, in Florida, because I guess they have a the bridge law or whatever it is, you can be over 34 on your drives and your uh, trailer tandem as long as you know you have your tandem slid up or whatever so you're within the bridge law leak. So, but once you get up into Georgia, it's a different story. However, we're in Wildwood. By the time we get up to Georgia scales, uh, we should have burned out that amount of fuel, which is roughly, was that 40 gallons and we're 150 you see 200 miles Ooh, it's gonna be close we may be about 20 or 30 pounds 40 less than 100 pounds over on our drives and I think they'll let us slide with that since we have the APU on the truck and everything plus we're way under on our steers man we were less than 11,000 on our steers, you know? So, uh, I just wish that fifth wheel was about two inches further forward or that knucklehead that loaded the trailer had it just loaded it, uh, single, double, single, double, <laughs> you know, something like that. But he loaded it doubles from the front to the back, man. And uh, that's what messed me up. reason we stopped yesterday <laughs> was the traffic was horrific. It was horrific. It was a nightmare. I bet I counted a dozen wrecks between, <laughs> between here and the north side of Ocala, man. It was crazy. It was crazy. So, uh, I decided just to go ahead and stop and uh, do an eight hour break because when we got loaded yesterday, it took them so long to load us that we were actually able to get in a two hour break. So we did an eight hour break and when we did our uh, eight two split thingamajig, 
jiggy. We ended up getting uh, all together. We got nine hours and 50 minutes of drive time, and it's only about seven hours to get up there. So we should be good. Yeah, should be good. Um, and then uh, once we get up there, we're gonna have to be looking for a load because. I thought we were gonna do the Clinton, South Carolina to Moorhead, Kentucky for one of my favorite agencies. However, uh, it fell through. Uh, they pushed the pickup date at one of, there was two pickups, one in uh, Clinton and one in Duncan, South Carolina. And uh, one of them got pushed back to the seventh. So, but I'll be honest with you, look, look, eyesight being 30, 30, 40, 40, 20, 20, <laughs> I kind of wish I'd went ahead and took the load anyway. Uh, you know, assuming the second pickup uh, in Duncan uh, was on the seventh, that would have worked out okay because I could have picked up on the sixth and Clinton went over to Duncan where the TA is and got a full PM done on the truck and then been ready to load uh, the morning of the seventh. Now. When they said it got pushed back to the seventh, they didn't say the seventh that morning, midday, late afternoon. So you have to take that into consideration as well. Um, because if it had been a late afternoon or mid noon or whatever, then you know, by the time you get over to Moorhead, shoot, it's after midnight. Or, you know, somewhere in that vicinities. So uh the heck is going on with this daggum red light, man? I'm the only mf -er sitting here, and the only M I <laughs> can't get a freaking green light. What the hell? Why y'all doing this to me? All right, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I told him, I said, well, maybe we can work together next time. I hope we can. But, uh, I didn't want to, you know, I, I don't know. I just, it got pushed back from the 5th to the 6th, and then it got pushed back from the 6th to the 7th. It's just bad juju. <laughs> uh, so I just, uh, better to go ahead and get out from under it and uh, concentrate on finding something else. And I saw a couple of good loads. Man, that was a killer load. Pick it up at Fort Jackson, where I did my basic and my AIT when I was in the Army. And I would have loved to pick that load up going to Ashland, Virginia. Not only because it was paying $7.22 a mile. Holy crap. And I think it was like 10,000 pounds. <laughs> but because it was going to Fort Jackson, man. Gosh almighty. I ain't been on Fort Jackson in. Man. It has to be close to 20 years. I'll say a minimum of 15. 
ain't even here yet. It's like somebody rear-ended somebody. Oh yeah, the whole front end of his truck is smashed in. So, it looks like uh, that guy right there got bumped in the booty. Ah, not paying attention, man. You gotta pay attention. <laughs> Woo, that's crazy. I want to guess we can talk a little, 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 little bit. <laughs> we are in South Carolina, 126 miles south of Florence, and about 47 miles south of I-26. So any minute now, the popo's going to be on the scene, the traffic's really going to be backed up. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not 100% sure what the law is on that. 
I see a white truck down there. I think it's a, yeah, Peterbilt. I hope he's not in that dock. <laughs> back up just a smidge to get off the curb. <laughs> well, at least we know what we're doing when we leave here. We're gonna ease over to Florence, South Carolina. And, uh, oh man, this is gonna be a crazy trying to back in uh, it's like it'd be easier blindside back in. Uh, but yeah, we're going over to Florence. Gonna hit up the Petro and hope and pray I don't regret getting a PM done on the truck. <laughs> uh, I've had, it's been hit and miss. Hit and miss with those folks there. Um, yeah, uh, get a full PM done, get some stuff checked out on the truck, make sure everything's good. And uh, yeah, I knew it. That truck's in that dock hole, dang gummit. it. Ah. And then we're picking up in Dillon, South Carolina for one of our top three favorite agents, the FLS Agency, the Harbor Freight Loads. Going to the awesomest town of Mariana. Woo -woo. And uh, yeah, we're doing a drop and hook there at the Harbor Freight in Mariana. Uh, like I said, we got family coming up. So we get to spend some time with them over the weekend. If you look at the truck, there's 12. Shoot. I thought 12 was further down. Uh, 12 is full. I'm going to back into 11. And hope and pray they still unload me. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, hopefully, maybe I'll have time work on... Uh, I want to get the toolbox put on, but right now, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of concerned with, with a couple of tires and stuff. So I may just work on trying to get a uh, tire cradle built for the uh, for my spare tire to bring with me. I may do that first instead of the toolbox. All right, let's be careful here. Pay attention. Oh, I know what it is now. Uh, when I get over to Florence, I thought about taking a chance on them doing the U-joints. Uh, I got the U-joints, I just need to get them put in, you know. So I may take a chance on letting them do that for me. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, too tight. Wait, here? See, I hear something when, hey, you know I mean? that noise is going to drive me crazy. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get back then. We'll check in with y'all. Oh, boy. Ducky found him some grass. So oh, yeah, then it's time to see the position of pee pee. I guess the pee pee. Bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, fenced in area here. Uh, some grass. And then he's liable to run out the gate. That's exit only, so hopefully, if any vehicles are coming, they're coming from this direction. <laughs> and I can see them before they get here. Uh, there we are. Back then, the door number left. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm concerned about that noise I was hearing. I'm not sure what it is. Yep, he's already outside the gate. <laughs> I should have known. Yeah, I want to get that checked. Uh, I'll be listening for it. I'm going to see if it makes the same noise. 
uh, with me being empty versus uh, under a heavy load. When I booked this load online, it said 40,000 pounds. You know. Oh. Shoom. Look at him go, boy. So I'm having fun, Dad. <laughs> Uh, trying to get out some of that pinned up energy but uh yeah but it ended up man when i went axled out with a half a tank of fuel i was weighing over seventy-eight thousand. now i've picked up loads that weigh 42 43 000 pounds before and when i went to axle out it was like 70 something what, like 77, somewhere in there? I'm, I'm willing to bet that load right there ever bit of 44,000, if I had to guess. I'd say close to 44. But uh, I can't prove it. So on the bill of lading, it says 42,900, 42, which is practically 3,000 over what I agreed to haul it at. So I'm gonna ask them if they can give me something maybe a hazardous cargo uh, thing or assisted loading, unloading or something like that. Securement, something that's 100% to the driver. You know, an extra 100 bucks at least. Cause I, I know I've burnt more than that in fuel with the extra heavy weight. All you can do is ask, but probably should have did that before I left. But I don't have no proof. Well, I, I got proof that it, on the bill of lading, it says it's 42,924, I think. So I know it's heavier than what I agreed to haul. Although I did not look at the rate con and see what the weight said on the rate con. Probably should go look at that first because uh, usually on the rate con, I look at the money, the address, date, stuff like that. I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to the weight. I don't know. I'm getting old, I forget stuff. So I need to be more, uh, I don't know. I gotta take some kind of medicine, focus factor or something something to help make my brain focus because <laughs> it has not been focusing lately but uh anyway we're gonna go ahead and end the video here because i know this is a long one i don't know maybe not maybe i can edit out some of the driving footage <laughs> but uh yeah we're going home baby so we'll probably pick up another video and try to get one going home get one out before we get to the house maybe or to put out over the weekend uh oh, let's see if we can get him to charge. Hold on. You charging that? Come on, boy. You charging? You charging? You charging? No. Nope. Say, nope, just a gallop, Dad. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's happy. He loves being able to run around and smell stuff. I never saw a dog that loves to smell as much as he loves to smell stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really appreciate y'all uh, watching the old video and trying to keep up with me i'm trying to change up a few things uh be a little bit different try something new never hurts <laughs> oh 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 but there he goes Woo! <laughs> that, that. what you want to say to everybody that, that. you want to say thank you everybody for coming along on our journey following us around with us youtubing it yeah see us youtubing it yeah. <laughs> He's a good boy. Uh, so, y'all stay safe. Never give up on your dreams. Always keep moving forward. Try to stay safe. The world's going crazy. People are just randomly shooting at each other for no reason. It does not make any sense. So, be careful. Be aware of your surroundings. Take whatever precautions you can to protect yourself. But even though the world's going crazy, things seem like we're in dire straits. There's still hope. There's still dreams. You just gotta keep moving forward. Don't give up. And always keep punching.